Carolyn Strauss is described as the top female speaker on sales and persuasion in the USA. Let's hear why. So, Carolyn, you, you talk about people, power, and priorities. Explain a bit more about that. How does that all fit together? So, when I'm working with an executive team in a company, the most the key to having a great business, of course, is your people. Who are you surrounded with? But the problem that most companies have is that businesses shift, and the executive team thinks that they that their people know what the shift is, but it, they don't. So people are coming in, spending eight, nine, ten hours a day working on stuff that's actually not getting to the outcome that the executive right, team is happening. Right. Think about how much money everybody mm. is spending on their people. Right. Yeah. Then there's the power thing. You've got to look at what are you intending for your people to do and how are you imposing that on them? Okay. Are you a soft leader? Are you a hard leader? Yeah. Right. And then there's priorities because there are everybody's got these task lists of 300 things to do. And the priority thing, we've actually kind of lost that as a society, too, because right. we're looking at social media and everybody's stuff seems important to us. So, so people so have priorities. How do, you, how do you get those things in alignment? How do you? How do you I mean, that's, that's a huge overwhelm. Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how do you okay. get that to work? Actually, I worked with a company just the other day, and we did a strategic engagement session. It was so great because what we did is we did we did a five column spreadsheet basically only right. across yes. the wall. Right, get those giant post its. Okay. You guys can do this for yourselves. Sure. Write down all of the big heading projects that you're working on. Then as the executive team, get really clear about what is the value you're bringing to your customers? Mm -hmm. What is the value that doing this brings to your company? And then what are the things that have to get done to make this project work? Right. Then take a list of all of your people and put them underneath each okay. of these topics, right? Each mm. of these projects so that everybody knows what they're working on and why they're working on it. Yeah. I mean, the last time you and I talked, Alan, we yeah. talked about the gender That's right. selling yeah. to women, selling which, women. Yeah. which I'm still doing. Yeah. But now I'm taking it to another level where the people that are working for you, the men who are playing on your team, they now know what game they're playing and what it looks like to win. Okay. The women now know exactly what outcome you're looking for for them so that they can feel safe and satisfied. And, and what difference does this make? You do this strategic engagement session. What what what's the outcome? How quickly does that turn into something really positive? Oh my goodness! He the the client I just worked with. He now has a PowerPoint presentation that he can give to their head office. He's a company yeah. in Colorado. The head office is here okay. in Washington, Washington D.C. Right. He can now give him a PowerPoint of here's everything that we're working on. Here's why we're working on it, and here's the funding that we need to get everything done. And the beautiful part is we actually saw once doing this all of the holes in the people that he didn't have to work on these projects why right. things weren't getting done. Clarity is power. And it's it's just so much fun. And, and will this work for any size organization? I mean, obviously, that's a fairly large corporate you're talking yes. about. But if it's if it's a smaller business, if it's people, you know, 25 employees or something like that, are the same principles still applicable? I think it would actually be better for a smaller business. Because okay. imagine when you have 500 employees putting everybody's name on there. By the way, because you want everybody to see this and you want everybody to go, that's where I fit in okay. because we're all Good. human beings. So if you even if you're a small business with three employees, imagine putting all of your projects on a clear board, writing down why you're doing it, who why it's valuable to them, why it's valuable to you, and who is doing what, so that you, as the CEO of a three-person company, aren't doing all of the work. Of course, which is the tendency that you know, it falls to a lot of people, and they try and take on far too much. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. the more the more you can delegate, the better your life gets. But you can only delegate when people are clear as to what exactly you're asking them to do and what it looks like for them to get the outcome that you want. So, as I understand it, Karen, it's working for the people at the top because they they've suddenly got a nice map of where things are going. But it sounds more or even more effective. People lower down, yes, because they can see their place in the hierarchy. And, and it's not even in the hierarchy; they can see why they're showing up to work. What am right. I doing here? What does my job look like? 72% of people at, in um, companies, according to Fast Company Magazine, are unhappy at work. Mm. And that's because they do not want to know what their job is, and they do not get acknowledged when they do a great job. 
it, it, brilliant stuff, Carolyn. I, I, I wish I could talk to you for a bit longer, but our time's nearly out. If people want to find out more about you and what you do in, in terms of strategic engagement and so on, how do they find you? Please go to www.carolynstrauss.com. I can ask you to spell that out for us because there are several ways people could spell that. Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-S-T-R-A-U-S-S dot com. And I would love to work with any of your people because if they yeah. know you, I will love them, Alan. Carolyn, thanks again for your time. Well, there we are, the very smart indeed Carolyn Strauss.